can't say enough about watching our young Marines perform in environments they're unfamiliar with and really taking it to the next level, adjusting, adapting. Bright Star started with the uh, Camp David Accords in 1977, and uh, it quickly became a multinational exercise involving multiple countries. Uh, the first exercise started in 1980, and then over the years it has evolutionized. This year we have 34 nations attending Bright Star and supporting the, the exercise. Bright Star is one of those key strategic things that ensures that the Marine Corps and that our nation as a whole is able to reinforce relationships on the strategic level with our allies here out in the Middle East and the surrounding area. This year, the, the focus is on a combined arms live fire exercise. Keep sending it. Breaching from the amphibious assault vehicles. We have the aviation doing their live fires and we have dismounted troops from the Indian Army. A lot of different countries coming together and performing one large scale combined arms exercise. Our Marines are here training every day, going to counter IED exercises, shooting their weapons on live fire ranges. So when they get back home, they're able to become more of an asset to the Marine Corps. Anybody who thinks that our Marine Corps is less than what it was is completely incorrect. This next generation of Marines, you, the Lance Corporals, the Corporals, the Sergeants, the young Marines coming up, you guys are truly the future 